Hi YouTube. Um, I wanted to make a quick video um, just for a moment to, to discuss um, something that's really dear to me um, and also just really overlooked and underrated within the context of um, dance music and electronic music. Um, essentially I wanted to talk about new beat music which for those that know you know how amazing it is. For those that don't know, um, I will discuss it and educate the kids, as they would say. Um, new Beat Music was a, a moment in time during um, the late 1980s to early 1990s, um, based out of Belgium. I would say would fizzle out in 1991, mostly due to a lot of the clubs that were playing that music were shut down. Um, by law enforcement due to heavy drug use, unfortunately. Um, a lot of the monuments are left behind. I would love to go to Belgium and to see and to witness um, those buildings that were left behind, if, if any were. A lot of those clubs were just really iconic, like Cherry Moon and, you know, etc. There's just, it was such an um, incredible prolific time in history, in music history. Essentially, its apex of popularity was in the 19, 1988, is in 1989. For those that don't know, um, New Beat was basically a fusion genre. It was a fusion of acid, house, um, you know, techno. Um, there were some elements of electronic uh, body music, EBM. Um, there was also elements of industrial music. Basically, its characteristics where it just had like a really hard, you know, pounding um, beat and it was usually really slow um, and had would have really great like bass lines that would just just drive the song. Um, essentially, its origins, like I guess the lore behind the, the genre was that a DJ, I forget the name of the DJ and I forget which club, a DJ in Belgium um, played um, Flesh, which is an incredible uh, single from this this act called um, A Split Second, which this single is usually played at a 45 BPM. However, this DJ played it at a 33 BPM with a plus eight um, pitch control. So typically this, this track would be played um, like, it was pretty quick. It was like do 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 and then with these adjustments, um, it kind of slowed down the beat and it kind of created this like sort of hypnotic, um, pulsating kind of dark uh, element to it when it slowed down. Um, and a lot of the club goers really enjoyed this and really loved it and they loved dancing to it. So it kind of became a thing um, on accident. Even though new beat music has kind of faded away, um, you can still hear a lot of its influences uh, in a lot of electronic and dance music that you would even hear now. Um, it ended up being a precursor to a lot of more hardcore um, dance music like Gabber and like Hardbeat and things like that. And it, it just evolved into like techno and, and all these other genres and micro genres. It technically didn't really die, but it just evolved. If you really wanted to know more in depth about this genre of music, I really recommend um, this great documentary called *The Sound of Belgium*, which was released in 19 or no, which was released in 2012. It's really, really good. It's kind of like a good introduction to what this movement was all about, which was very youth-oriented, and um, a lot of these kids would go into clubs with smiley faces on their T-shirts and would wear. Um, like crucifixes on on their hats or on their shoes. They would steal um, Volkswagen um, emblems from cars and embellish their shoes with it or whatever they were wearing. Um, it's just an incredible and iconic time. And I often wonder what these kids were are doing now. It's pretty ironic that a small country like Belgium ended up being such a landmark for a lot of this really great music and not just for new beat music but also just for like synth pop um, a lot of really great minimal synth 
came out of um, Belgium. A lot of really great industrial music came out of Belgium. Um, one in particular, um, Front 242, which is like a personal favorite of mine. Um, for synth pop, you have like Premier Classe and like uh, the Honeymoon Killers. They were also from um, Belgium. You have Carol, Snowy Red, which are incredible minimal synth groups. Um, it was just such a lively and colorful time for music, I personally believe. It definitely deserves interest and in people to research this great music. Some um, singles that I really want to talk about that I currently own that I feel like encapsulates a lot of what this movement was about. Uh, Miss Nikki Tracks, Sweet Sensation. Um, this is such a great single. This is incredible. Highly recommend. I'm going to um, post these in the description. Um, there's just also a really great uh, compilation album that kind of has all of the singles that were really, really huge during this time. And I'll also post that below. I think it's also on Spotify and you could stream it. You could also just purchase it. Um, but this is so, so good. Particularly the, um, the extended version, um, which is really not that long. It's only like eight minutes long. I highly recommend listening to it. It's so, so good. There's, there's a lot of um, uh, people behind this moniker, um, including uh, Jade For You, or AKA um, Nikki Van Lerop. Lerop? I don't know how to properly pronounce that, but um, she's amazing. This is mo this particular single is more like on the dancier, uh, melodic, and that she's such an influential figure during this time. I mean, she's involved with uh, Praga Khan, um, Lords of Acid, and different iterations of um, dance music and trance music. I mean, her her um, the list of what she's involved in is just super long. But this is such an incredible incredible single. Some dude on um, YouTube posted the official music video, which I had no clue there was um, a music video involved, official one. I'll post that one um, below as well. I got this on Discogs like three years ago, and the dude said that um, it was in excellent condition, but you can clearly see there is written with pen on the front, and it's completely just like the record's coming out. It's completely destroyed. Um, I give him a really, really bad review. I may have to purchase this again and get a better quality version um, when I'm not broke. But these are just incredible records. I'll definitely post these below. Also, if you go on Discogs and go in the Explore tab and look up um, New Beat, just go through all the list of all the acts that were involved. It's incredible you'll make incredible discoveries like I have um, and kind of give these kind of hidden gems a listen. A lot of these are kind of locked away within the footnotes of history. In the description below, I'll post a lot of these links to a lot of these tracks. Um, I highly recommend checking a lot of these acts out. I highly recommend researching New Beat and um, all the associated acts it's i feel it's definitely worth the time and the effort and the listen really really wanted to express my love to this to this music i think i have some uh some singles posted on my music youtube however like my account has gone has been terminated like four times within the past eight years so I kind of forget what I upload, but I will post that as well. Um, I think I have at least one or two, um, which you can check out as well. But definitely do yourself a favor and, and listen to these, to these singles and listen to what it has to offer. You know, I'm still like on the search of finding new, um, new things to listen to and to discover. For those that don't know, now you know. And I will continue to post more music-related um, videos, hopefully. And if, if it interests anybody, and if, they, if it doesn't interest anyone, I'm still going to continue posting them because I like talking about music. Um, anyway, 
thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.